next thrower is Christina Obekfull, most consistent of the top women javelin throwers around at the moment. Oh, that's another very fine throw by Obekfull. Just look at that, just within the sector, very near the right-hand side there. Oh, preciously close to the sector. Well, close in all ways there, but a magnificent 69.05. The gold medal has gone to Christina Obergfall. What a wonderful record she's got over the years. No major gold medals until now. Hello and welcome to Crouton Cracker Jacks. Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious chicken parmesan. This is one of those dishes that sounds a lot more complicated than it really is, but it's really simple. These are the ingredients that you'll need. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off with two boneless, skinless chicken breasts here, and these have been dethawed. And using a knife, I'm just going to trim off the gristly parts and the excess fat, maybe some of the skin that's left over on there. Just kind of trim them up and clean them up a little bit. Then I'm going to cut that breast right in half, set those off onto a plate, and then trim up and clean up my second chicken breast. Now I've got a piece of wax paper here and I put that onto my cutting board and I made it long enough so I can fold it over on itself and I'm just going to use a small cup here and I'm going to pound out my breast halves until they're about a half an inch thick or so. Now you can use anything heavy that you want to use. If you have a meat mallet, you can use that. Uh, I don't happen to have one, so that's why I'm using my small bowl. You can also use the bottom of a skillet or a frying pan. You can use a rolling pin. Really, whatever you have that's relatively heavy that you can pound this out with. And when you get them all done, this is what they will look like. This should be about a half an inch thick or so, uh, maybe a little bit thinner. And now we can start working on our breading ingredients. The first thing I'm going to need is an egg wash. So I'm going to take two large eggs and crack those into a bowl. And if you get any shells in there, be sure to get those out. Don't want any little crunchy bits in your chicken parmesan. And using a fork, I'm just going to whisk these together. In another bowl, I've got about one and a half cups of Italian style breadcrumbs. And I'm going to add in a quarter of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Now I'm using my homemade Italian breadcrumbs here. I will put a link in the description box that will take you to a video that shows how I make those. And then finally, in a third bowl, I've got about a half a cup of flour. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. I'm just gonna mix this together. And now we can start breading our chicken. Now the breading process is really simple on this. You just wanna take one of your powdered out pieces of chicken and dredge it in the flour mixture. Shake off the excess and then put it into your eggs. And then you want to let the excess drip off and then you want to go right into your breadcrumbs. And then you want to take your breadcrumbs and kind of push them into your chicken there. And that'll make sure that you get a nice thick coating on your chicken. And when you get that completely coated, go ahead and set it off onto a plate. And then continue breading the rest of your chicken. And once all your chicken is breaded, you wanna let this sit and let that coating kind of adhere to the chicken for about 15 minutes or so before you cook them up. I've got my small cast iron skillet on medium high heat here, and I'm gonna put in about a quarter of an inch or so of extra virgin olive oil into the bottom of that. And I'm gonna let that come up to temperature, and then I'm going to start frying up my chicken pieces. Now you don't wanna crowd your pan too much here. You wanna give them a little room to breathe. And you want to fry these for about two minutes on each side. Now frying these will not cook the chicken completely. We're going to be baking these and that will finish cooking them. So 
Don't worry about cooking the chicken all the way through. You just want to get the breading nice and golden brown. And after about two minutes, they should be golden brown on the first side. Go ahead and flip them over and continue cooking for another two minutes or so on the second side. And once they're golden brown on the second side, you want to remove them off to a plate lined with paper towels. And then you want to repeat this process with the other pieces of chicken. Now that all my chicken has been pan fried, I'm going to put this into a glass baking dish. I'm using a seven by 11, I think, baking dish. You can use a nine by 13. You just want to put your chicken pieces in there. Make sure that they're not overlapping at all. And then you want to ladle on some marinara sauce onto each one of your chicken parmesans. Now this is my homemade marinara sauce. It is my spaghetti sauce minus the meat. And I have a video that shows how I make that. I will again put the link in the description box so you can see how I make that. You could also use jarred spaghetti sauce. That is perfectly fine. You just want to put maybe about a quarter of a cup, half a cup or so of marinara sauce on each chicken parmesan. Next, I'm going to take some shredded mozzarella cheese and put a handful or so on top of each chicken parmesan. And you can leave it with just the mozzarella on it and it would still be perfectly delicious. However, I'm going to take it up a notch and I'm gonna add just a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of the mozzarella. And then you wanna bake these in a preheated 350 degree oven for between 20 and 30 minutes or so. You wanna make sure that the chicken is cooked completely and done all the way through and the cheese is nice and golden brown on top. And when they are done, this is what they will look like. Now you can serve these exactly as they are. However, I like to serve mine over pasta. So while these were in the oven, I made up a pot of spaghetti you could also use these and make chicken parmesan sandwiches, which would be absolutely amazing. But since I did decide to serve this on spaghetti, went ahead and put some spaghetti onto a plate there, pick out one of the chicken parmesans and put it right on top. And you could add more sauce to this if you would like. And there you go. How to make chicken parmesan at home from scratch. I hope you guys enjoy and thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more deliciousness. And if you'd like to follow me on Google+, Facebook, and or Pinterest, all my links will be in the description box. We'll see you next time.